thank you, Adonai. We worship you, Jesus. Let's worship the Lord, child of God. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Yes. Kamteshi barabaku shinamananas. Nebrebe de keberedes. Edubidi yokomosikos. Beliarades. Kombidi yagados ote bakat. Sumenene na na yagados. Yes. O glopolo kuradi satas. We give you praise. We give you praise. Can we worship the Lord? Thank you, Adonai. Alano kosi gabarupa kuria daba santi salia. Eni mini gokoro so preti laikadas. Lift up your voice in worship. Lift up your voice and worship the Lord. Do a song unto the Lord. Lima gabadosia baragadidas. Have your way. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel. Nothing more. When you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. I'm just a vessel, nothing more. When you're gone, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Thank you, Jesus. I protest me, Tata. To just the vessel, no more. When you're gone, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorify. Thank you, Adonai. Emeneti Tatat. On holy ground. And I know that there are angels all around. I am the Kemiane Soridana Lolo Sosopras. Let us praise, let us praise Jesus now. Yes. Ahimanana Korasarias. Oh, we are standing in His presence on holy ground. Can I hear the keyboard play, please? Oh, we are standing in on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around Yamana Mana Malia Barada Jesus, now, and that the Macari Kadadi, 
We are standing in His presence on holy ground. We are standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Let us pray, Jesus, now, for we are standing in His presence on holy ground. Bless the name of the Lord, child of God. We are standing on holy ground. We know that there are angels. All around, Adabado Sakarias, let us pray, Jesus, now oh, we are standing. In his presence on holy ground. Let's worship him now. For we are standing on holy ground. And we know that there are angels all around. Oh, let us pray. Oh, Jesus, now. Ah, for we are standing his presence on holy, holy ground. Oh, Baba, Jackie Job, I ready. Baba, Jackie Job, I Kashere bere, lori mi o kashere bere, laye mi o kashere bere, o lori mi kashere bere, laye mi ay ba ba ye, Jackie Job ready. Ayabara Vanessa Yaria Baba Ye Jeki Joba Rebo Kashe Rebere Luri Mio Kashe Rebere Kashe Rebere Kashe Rebere Luri Mi Kashe Rebere Laye Mi for thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. 
Ay. For thou hast breathed, oh, 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 to receive glory, honor, and power, for Thou hast created all things are for Thy pleasure, and we created for the Gahakaya. We worship you, King of Kings. We give you thanks, O oh Lord. We give you praise. You alone are God. You alone are the Most High. We come with worship. Be exalted forevermore. Thank you, my King. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have worshipped. Glory to God. Mighty God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. Woof. Praise God. In his presence are angels. When he shows up to a place or in a place, the place turns into a holy ground. Hallelujah. Wow. And he said that when we gather in his name, he is there. Amen. Wow. What a beautiful thing it is. Worship is one thing that transcends all languages. Wow. Music, worship, it transcends all languages. Glory to God. You know, just early this morning, I was meditating on the, on the, on the wonders of God, the miracle of God, and the, and the wonder of worship and music. Praise God. You know, the, the, the music note is into eight. You know, when I, I, I remember learning how to play the keyboard, and they said this, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. You know, that that, that 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 scale praise god in music and this morning god dropped in my heart the mystery of worship the mystery of music and he said to me do you know that do re mi fa so la ti do can be played no matter the language on earth whether it be french whether it be spanish whether it be english whether it be yoruba whether it be Igbo, what Whatever the tongue is, whatever they speak as worship can be played within this scale of music. Wow! It wowed me indeed. And I got to understand the mystery of worship and music. You may not understand the language. You may not understand what is being said but you can connect with the song you can connect with the worship you can connect with the spirit of the song wow glory to god and that is why you need to know 
that worship music is, is the protocol of heaven is how you get your soul gathered into the presence of god and connect with divinity because again he inhabits the praise and the worship of his people i welcome you today in the name of jesus to this altar of prayer it is the 231 hour of prayer we give god all the glory praise god whether he would have us continue when we hit the target and the mark he gave to us i do not know or whether he would have us stop i do not know but until i hit 364 hours that he has demanded of me to come to this altar and to lead men to pray as he will guide me i would not stop it is 364 hours today is the 200 and 31 hour of prayer when god demand men to pray it means that heaven wants to move when god asks men to pray it means that his hands he wants it to move in the direction of the prayer of his people hence i used to say to us that when there are a people to pray there is god to answer hallelujah welcome once again to the altar of covenant prayer praise god i welcome you therefore help me to invite a friend help me invite someone tell a friend tell a family member tell a colleague tell a neighbor tell that your friend on your social media handle it is time to pray just share this page for uh, the sake of um, having men join you or join us Yes, for when our hearts sink or synchronize in the place of prayer, wow, great things happen. Amen. Wow. Glory to Jesus. God is stirred my heart to the scriptures in Zechariah chapter number 9, and we will read in verse 9. Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. Hallelujah. Praise God. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 rejoice greatly O daughter of Zion shout O daughter of Jerusalem behold thy king cometh unto thee he is just and having salvation lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a court, the fowl of an ass. Wow. 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 I want to read that again. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt, the fall of an ass. Amen. This is a prophecy in the book of Zechariah that we just read concerning the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem at his first advent hallelujah jesus this is a direct prophecy and it was fulfilled if you read in luke chapter 19 again we will look at luke chapter 19 because if you don't look at prophecy and its fulfillment you may be confused when you read the scriptures yes in zechariah it was prophesied luke chapter 19 verse 30 to 33 recorded the fulfillment of this particular prophecy it is also recorded in the book of mark chapter 11 verse 2 to verse 7 also in matthew chapter 21 verse 2 to verse 7 you will find the fulfillment of this prophecy recorded you will also see it in john's gospel chapter 12 verse 14 to 15 it was also recorded the fulfillment so you can see that the whole synoptic gospels recorded 
the fulfillment of this particular prophecy this particular prophecy was key in the advent of in the first advent of jesus christ this particular prophecy was key in fulfilling the the the, the, the salvation a, a, a mandate as it were a, a, of jesus glory to god as the lamb of God because in the Old Testament if you read uh, concerning the sacrifices the Passover lamb and all of that you will see that a pattern was established that from without the camp as it were you know uh, the, the, the lamb for sacrifice will be ushered into the city praise God I, I wouldn't go into all of those theology because I didn't come to it's not a a a a, a the, the, message per se uh what if you understand what i mean we have come to pray but i needed to lay this background so you have an understanding praise god god had established a pattern you can go back to the book of numbers the book of leviticus particularly and then you will read uh, concerning the passover and and how it is done praise god now this prophecy is key and particular hence there was a record of it and uh, of, of its fulfillment in the entire gospel in other words it can be denied in other words it is one of those that is key a prophecy in the bible hmm. and then look like i said that we need to read the fulfillment thereof so we can have understanding indeed luke chapter 19 and we will read from verse 30 to verse 33 hallelujah and that was jesus speaking saying to his disciples go ye into the village over against you in the which at your entering ye shall find a cult tied whereon yet never man sat lose him and bring him hither verse 31 and if any man ask you why do you lose him Thus shall ye say unto him, because the Lord had need of him. Verse 32, and they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. Verse 33, and as they were loosening the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, why lose ye the colt? My God, uh, quickly I want to have you understand something that the Lord is burdening my heart with this day that we will pray that will constitute the nucleus of our prayer today. Now that Jesus rode on the colt is one aspect of that prophecy. It was a prophecy upon the life of a cult. The fall of an ass. This was a cult that carried a divine mandate, my God. This was a cult that carried a prophecy over its life. This was a cult that was spoken about by the prophets. This was a cult that before the cult was born, heaven have determined that this is the purpose of this life. This was a cult that God, by the mouth of the prophet, have spoken about. There was a prophecy that have gone ahead of this cult before this cult was born. The prophecy came many years before the fulfillment thereof. The prophecy came many years before the cult was born. Yes. How be it so many of us prophecies are hanging over our lives. How be it so many people today, God have spoken things concerning them. How be it so many today, there is a word from God concerning their life and destinies. How be it today, there are many uh, kapara that God have said that I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end, my God. God. There are so many today that their destiny carried glory because the destiny of this cult carried glory. What more can be carried by a cult? 
what other load is more glorious to be carried other than the king of kings himself what more glorious load is the ass to carry rather than god in human form what other glory in fact, we read in the Bible that when Jesus rode on this cult into Jerusalem, people brought out their clothes, people climbed trees and plucked the leaves of trees and put on the ground for the cult to step on it. What a glory! Which other cult have you heard? Which other horse have you heard or read in those days that stepped on people's clothes? That people brought out their clothes willingly to have the animal step on it and walk on it. That is what is called in our day a red carpet reception. And as the cult walked on those clothes, there was a shout there was roaring as it were every man sang hosanna 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 to the king of david blessed is he that comes in the name of the lord my god as the people shouted and and there was a roar as it were or uproar by the shout and the exclamation of the people the pharisees even said they should keep quiet and jesus said if they refuse to shout the stones will cry out the stones will take their place what a glorious moment it was what a time of fulfillment of destiny it was for that cult yes for the life of that cult carried glory glory was what that cult was created for oh yes <laughs> how be it the life of so many carry glory how be it the destinies of men today carry glory but hey child of god there's something i saw in that scripture that the lord stirred my heart towards hear me yes there was a prophecy over the life of the cult but alas the owners of the cult had tied the cult to a stake, my father. The owners of the court have tied the court to a stake. The owners of the court, I repeat, have tied the court to a stake. My God, how it is that so many destinies, how it is that so many who carry a glorious destiny have had their lives, have had issues about their destiny, manipulated by the devil, manipulated by evil ones. Did Jesus not say that the members of a man's household are the foes of his? Yes, child of God. And how be it it is that so many, the things that pertain to their glory is tied somewhere how be it that the things that pertain to their fulfillment is tied somewhere how be it that the prophecies over their lives have not become a reality in their lives because there is a tying that have happened somewhere my father my father god punish satan hear me child of god thank god that jesus understood things of the spirit thank god that jesus knew what to do at the right time and what did Jesus do so that that cult will fulfill its divine mandate? What did Jesus do so that that cult will know the glory that it was designed to carry from the beginning? What did Jesus do? Jesus said, go and lose that cult. Lose that cult and bring it to me. Lose the cult. And if any man ask you, my God, and if any man ask you, why are are you loosening the cult? Tell the man the master have need of it. Yea, How wicked can the devil be? Not only did the devil tie, not only did the owners of the cult tie the cult, but they were there watching to see who will come to lose it. Not only who will come to lose it, but they were ready to withstand. They were ready to oppose. No wonder the Bible said, "Lift up your head, so ye." gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in and the gate had the effrontery to ask who is this king of glory kaparatu pasakata child of god i have come to know that the enemy will resist i have come to know that the devil will not warn the destinies of men to see the light of day 
I have come to know that the devil will not allow that which was designed by God concerning the destinies of men to become reality. Yeah, the joy that they are meant to enjoy in their lives. Yeah, the glory they are meant to see in their lives. The enemy have a way of questioning whoever that comes to lose. Child of God, the Bible said, say to them, the master have need of him. The master have need of him. And that is what we are going to say to the devil today. That is what we are going to say to everything that is resisting the prophecies over your life. That is what we are going to decree and declare and demand today. Yeah, lose him and let him go because the master have need of him. Lose and let go because it is determined by heaven that my life and my light will shine. Child of God, it is the hour of prayer. The Bible said that the court was tied. The court was tied. The court was tied. Ashata Kamarikata. The court was tied. Today you are going to untie. Today you are going to lose everything that pertains to your joy. Today you are going to lose everything that pertains to your fullness and your fulfillment. Today you are going to lose. Kaparaka Pakata. Begin to bless the name of the Lord, child of God. Give God praise. Give God thanks. It is the hour of prayer. Take a position to pray. Give God thanks and give him glory. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you grace in the place of prayer today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way my father in the name of jesus christ we have prayed open your mouth and begin to pray for the bible said in matthew chapter 18 and verse number 18 yea you will bind it 18 on earth and it shall be bound in heaven if you lose anything on earth it shall be loosed in heaven that's what the bible said in matthew chapter 18 and verse number 18 verily verily i say unto you whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven I need you to pray Jesus said lose the cult and let him go lose the cult in the name of Jesus you are going to lose everything that pertained to your joy everything that pertains to your fulfillment everything that pertains to you to the glory that your life is meant to know that your destiny is meant to manifest my father lose them now in the name of Jesus whatever it is that is tied up wherever at that pertained to your joy get to test lose your portion begin to lose now and those Jesus said whatever you lose shall be lose just like that cult was loosened, the man that your portion be loosened. Everything that pertained to you, that pertained to your rising and your shining, that pertained to your joy and pertains to your glory. Every hanging prophecy, every word of the law, begin to pray child of God begin to lose right now and the super like the court was loosed begin to lose begin to lose begin to lose lose that that pertained to you concerning your finances concerning your health concerning everything that my father 
We lose them now. A my father, my father, I take possession of my own. Angulu palanga da bada. Ede breyega di sasaka tu paru bakuriye de selete. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Adonai. The Bible said in the book of Deuteronomy, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse number 7, God was speaking concerning the works of your hands uh, for which you are going to pray right now. He said, for the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. Hey, in all the works of thy hand, not some, in all the works of thy hands. The Lord thy God have blessed thee in all the works of thy hands. In chapter 16 and verse 15 B, in chapter 16 of Deuteronomy verse 15 B, the Bible said, because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all all thine increase and in all the works of thy hands therefore thou shalt surely rejoice in all the works of thy hands i need you to pray for the works of your hands your career your business my god begin to speak the word of the lord over the works of your hands every investment you have made begin to to call forth the power of God upon them. Yes, your ministry. The Lord will cause to increase. The Lord will cause to prosper. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for your career. Pray for that your source of income. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, please pray. And the tete gede gede bedi kabaka tu balara zasata bandi ekembe pele di karas barufa kuta para. Pray over your business. Speak words over your business. Speak words over your source of income. And ata ta ta ya da bara lega begede. Comfort your promotion in the name of Jesus. Ye bedula para. Pray for the ministry, O oh man of God. Adi gada gada bakati pakata. The works of your hands shall prosper. Ye whatever is tying it down begin to break it loose now yeah the cult was losing to fulfill the mandate of god upon his life begin to loosen begin to pray over the works of your hands my god begin to bless let the blessings of the lord rest upon the works of your hands and the like that called the works of your hands are losing today is the begin to break loose whatsoever that have been tied and they begin to lose now from ben to Perube, susu gregete kali gedege tiye gediada ramde susi para vata kapali redo soso kopeti bana bana badiya kapere gede elete pene pete makatu para bana badiya de sese peketi vata in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed glory to God the Bible said in Job chapter thirty two and verse number eight uh, yeah there is a spirit in man uh, but the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding you are going to pray. Ask the Lord for business ideas. Ask the Lord the Balada Bakata. Walkable ideas, profitable ideas. My God, let it flood your mind. Let the inspiration of the Almighty come upon you now. Pete. 
ya gabari gaba kutupete ketekete inopo sasa begin to demand yeah the bible said that there is a spirit in man but the inspiration of the almighty give that him understanding in job chapter 32 and in verse 8 open your mouth and pray let the lord by his spirit inspire you my god and da, 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 da. ideas that will give you wealth ideas that will bring income and flood our minds oh god workable ideas profitable ideas my father my father businesses that must be born we receive grace yeah we catch the idea the revelation the insight my father my father yeah our portion we lose or put your mouth and pray like the court was losing begin to lose your portion my god jesus said lose that cult yeah if any man ask say to them the master have need of it lose them and bring them to me and to pasa because they have a destiny to fulfill my god it was prophesied in zechariah chapter 9 and in verse 9 they must fulfill their destiny you are going to pray i must fulfill my destiny my father my father pray that prayer i must fulfill my destiny whether the devil likes it or not i walk in the path of my destiny i walk in the path of my glory begin to pray i walk in the path of my destiny we walk in the path of Ayate Nasasa. My father, my father. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Revelation chapter 3 and verse number 8, the word of God said, Yea, I am he that openeth and no man can close. And when I close, no man can open. My God, Yea, yea, my father, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept that my words and has not denied my name my father yet you are going to pray father <laughs> say my father my father open unto me the doors of multiple streams of income <laughs> open unto me the doors of multiple streams <laughs> commit unto me kingdom wealth <laughs> It is better to have a yale tekara, for you will serve God with joy when there is abundance. Begin to pray and ask the Lord, my Father, I lose my portion. Let the doors open. He said, I have set before thee an open door. I open it and no man can shut. Let the door be opened. Open my eyes to see the doors. He greeted the Lia Preyetsasa to Liga Gatupa Kaduba Sitepete. He said, An effectual door of ministry have been opened unto you. Ube de Kata Kata Parabediasa. My father caused us to walk in these doors. Adlete ya Ipada. Guide our feet, guide our steps. De de Pete Pete Yaga Paripa Kuyanga Shakata. Left Rebe de Bede Bayaga de Yaga Paranabana Sute Pelenete. Efete Pekete. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. In Romans chapter 8 and verse number 30, Jesus, the Bible said, They that he 
for new he predestinated and they whom he predestinated he called and those whom he called he justified and those whom he justified he glorified you are going to pray you will say my life is meant for glory <laughs> my life is meant for glory therefore lord yea in glory i shall walk whatever i am going through now will end in glory and in joy open your mouth and pray yea let the glory that my life is meant for yea manifest oh god in the name of jesus yea i move from glory to greater glory begin to pray everything about me shall end in glory my experience daily shall be glory according to the word of the lord let the glory that my destiny carries be made manifest let it be made manifest my father my god in the name of jesus christ we have prayed thank you father i need you to share this page in the next three seconds child of god just hit the share button glory to jesus share it on your wall share it on your social media handles the essence is that men may connect to pray along that is the essence of vadaba divadai shondo sokolok glory be to god in the highest amen honor be to god in the highest amen for his mercies and your forever amen for his mercies and your forever amen the bible said in romans chapter 4 and verse number 17 that God collect those things that are not as though they were. <laughs> In Job chapter 22 and verse 28, the Bible said, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I need you to decree right now. Behave like your father to call for those things that are not as though they were. Begin to call for the picture of the future that you see. Begin to call it forth. In the name of Jesus, call forth that dream. Call forth. Call it. Call it. Call it forth. Yeah. What do you want to see in your life? Call it forth now. In the what is the picture you see? Begin to demand that it become reality. After call for that idea in your head. Demand in the name of Jesus that it will have form, it will become a tuparababa. What is it that you see of your tomorrow what is that desire in your heart begin to call it forth my god atapara what do you want to see you want to see yourself in your husband's house call it forth in the name of jesus demand call forth your wedding call forth your marriage my god you want to see yourself come out of debt call it forth begin to decree and demand i come out of debt the yoke of debt is broken off my neck in the name of jesus my god you want to see increase call it forth in the name of jesus let increase become in my life at the pepetepete yadabara ingrega shaka shaka tepeketi yadabara rosso sofeketi kap 
ame hali ya tata tata zabra baba kadi ya bre ya kadi ya kuri ya galanga da adi ya kadi sasa tapara vadisk sikle tia tia sarada buuti ya kuri da abele vitika sasa kapaka tika pakata what do you want to see in the life of your children call it forth in the name of Jesus in the life of your husband in the life of your wife my God call it forth ate para ni para zakre te ke te ke te ya dia 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 da da besi ya dia 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 Kadu bulu keyeka, rato shupara de padima, zovengala kata kata, ya biene tete sese kete kete, uprata na gasika liyata ta, evbe eve, sato para pika tuka, zote maladi iti tete ne seke peke fi katula, brace te ya, Jesus said lose the cult, lose the cult because the cult carries prophecy, lose the cult and bring him to me, ata para, this cult must fulfill his destiny. Begin to call forth your yapata. That future you want to see. Be de be de be ya gade be de. Ika para na ba na ba katu ba kodi ya do balosa va. Ega be kete ka be kete. Call for those things that are meant for your joy. Call them forth now. I'm to sata pa bata pata pa ya kapata. Zai soti ya savati pa kula de kat. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible. Sasakapata. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Adonai. The Bible said in Psalm 16 and verse number 6, the Bible said, Yea, my lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a godly heritage. You are going to declare and pray that scripture as prayer. Let my lines fall for me in pleasant places. Child of God, pray your prayer. Yet the bada, my lines shall fall for me. The lines of my children and my wife, my father, in pleasant places shall it fall. In pleasant places, according to the word of the law. My lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Yeah, yeah, da 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 da. Our heritage is godly according to the word of God. I'm no suda baruba suta. Le prebe keti ke priya ketu be diya priya gada gada be shata. Ba sada vara ba sada balada ba yaga diya gada. Etre de 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 para kadi asasa. Yeah, begin to decree and declare. Our lines are falling for us in pleasant places. Yaga ta pakati yaga baga da bati yaga da. Rado deshi di bini yada bara baguva kumana. My father, my father, start a tari. Yay, my God, Aviti my God. Jesus said, Lose the court and let him go. Lose the court and bring him to me. Yene pata pata pakatapa. Yeah, dasasata rata kata kata. Yeah, we walk in our paved lines. Yeah, paved with gold. Our feet is deep in oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. In First Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9, the Bible said, For the Lord had opened unto me an effectual door of ministry, but there are many adversaries. You are going to pray. Everything come against everything, every satanic or demonic force, every human hindering force, yatapara kapakata, hindering your advancement, hindering your becoming, my father, every hand that is resisting your rising, eliadakabikata, Every adversary of your soul, every adversary of your destiny, every adversary of your joy, but the Akakata, come against them now in the name of Jesus. Every adversary, wherever they are, in whatever form, spiritual or physical, at the Patapaka Tubaka, Yaka, we come against the adversary, we come against the adversary, Manabilia Bra, Malabria Bria, Come against the 
come against you, Satan. I come against every resisting hand and power. I come in it. In the name of Jesus, Satan, I bind you. My father, my father, abide in Saka. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. You are going to pray and as the Lord breathe, let the breath of life come upon everything that is dying, everything that is not walking in your life, everything that is dying, everything that is not walking. You are going to demand that the breath of the Lord, the breath of the Lord that make it, that give it life will come upon them now. In Job chapter 33, the Bible said that in verse 4, everything that is dying now, Job chapter 33 verse 4 the Bible said the spirit of God had made me and the breath of the almighty had given me life the spirit of the Lord have made me and the breath of the almighty had given me life begin to speak that the breath of God will come upon everything that is dying everything that is not working in your life that your business demand that the breath of God will come upon it open your mouth and pray God said in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 5 I will cause the dry bones to live because my breath will come upon them my God begin to pray in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 the Bible said and God breathed yea the breath ayata pakata God breathed into the nostrils. Yes, Agada. And man became a living being. Begin to ask that the breath of God will come upon everything that is dying, that is in your hand, around you in your life. Whatever it is that is dying, that life is departing from, let God breathe upon it now. Let God breathe upon it now. Let the breath of God bring it alive. Begin to speak life to that dead dying come alive in the name of jesus come alive in the name of jesus come alive in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ we have prayed i need you to pray for the spiritual atmosphere of that territory where you are now you are going to come in. listen to me the spiritual atmosphere in that place where you are is determined by by altars and by the portals that have been opened in the spirit realm yes is determined by altars that are in the land servicing the portals servicing the principality open your mouth and judge the altars for the bible said in jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 it says see i have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant open your mouth and judge the altars demand that the altars be judged demand that the portals be shut the spiritual portals in that territory where you are begin to demand that they be shut down in the name of Jesus bring the judgment of God upon that altar upon the altars of sacrifice upon the altars of oblation where oblations arising daily from begin to judge them demand that the finger of God will light them up with fire Zakupara, deny the altars the power to speak in that territory where you are in the name of Jesus judge every altar from whence ancestral spirits are worshipped and demons of the dead are called forth to maroon the earth ayata pakata to bring influence upon the land amini 
Satan, we bind you. Come on, pray. Every satanic altar, every altar of sacrifice, every altar from whence oblations are made in this territory. In this land, in this nation, my father, we judge you by fire be devoured by fire be consumed we shut down the portals we shut down the altars in that we pray for the spiritual atmosphere of the land every blood sucking demon every marooned demon we bind you, Zaleteke. We cast you out. Thank you, Jesus. Hear me, child of God. There is good in that land. Call for the good in the land. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19, he said, If you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land, my God begin to demand that the good in the land will come to you will locate you will locate your household the good in the land in the name of jesus call for the good in the land to find you to locate you bear sasia biridas the good in the land will find you will locate you bende kaga shokovales zeseberetepe call for the good in the land beckon on the good in the land in the name of jesus the lord will shield you from the evil in the land but the good in the land is shall cause to pursue and overtake you in the name of jesus mathless lever becaria Zaza brada bada patika para kresekem levre bedete tete kete bere in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray that the Spirit of the Lord will envelop that territory where you are? That the Spirit of the Lord will flow. The Spirit of the Lord will envelop that territory. Begin to pray for the souls of men, for men to know the Lord in that territory. Begin to pray. My Father, send revival. My God, come to sugar baradada. Yeah, your convicting spirit your spirit that convict men let it flow and move in the land convicting the souls of men to seek the lord my god blessed be god Give him thanks, give him praise. He answered prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Glory to God. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Be exalted. Thank you for sending answers and speedily. Be exalted. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, Master. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me to pray today. The Lord keep you and bless you. Let your testimonies overtake you even now. And let your song of joy begin even now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming to pray with me. I'll be here sometime tomorrow on this altar and we shall be praying together shalom and be strong amen